What up, what up world, this your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm gonna talk about how to bring cohesiveness to your album in part four to my How to Release an Album series. Stay tuned. Hey, before I get started into the video, I want to tell you I love making music. I also love helping independent artists. And for the past year, I've been helping independent musicians make the most of their music business. In fact, I helped my guy DJ Centipede get on Discover Weekly and thousands of user playlists. I also helped my guy Levi get the 5,000 followers on Spotify. And then lastly, I hope my guy Big Moochie get his catalog back from people that were preying on his music. So if you need help, sit down with me for just one hour. That's all we need and we'll plan the next six months of your music business. So to get started, go to wordplaytj.com slash rise or click the link down in the description. Now back to the video. So what does it mean to put cohesiveness into an album? Like what exactly is cohesiveness in the first place. Cohesiveness is the feeling that every track on the album or all the lyrics on the album belong to that one project. And your album could be a concept album, it could not be a concept album, but at the same time, there should be some cohesiveness to everything that you put on a body of work like that. And that's because People want to feel like everything is supposed to be packaged together because that's the point of an album. A good example of cohesiveness is probably going to be Kanye West's 808s and Heartbreak, or maybe even Stevie Wonder's Hotter Than July. Both of these albums take a unique sound, a unique perspective, and then package all the songs within the same mind frame, in the same mood, in the same tone. That same mood and tone brings cohesiveness to the album, and that's something that's super important throughout your process of making one. So while I was on my journey to finish my album over time, um, I realized that there was a cohesiveness lacking in the album process. This is because as I'm writing and recording the album, some of the tracks just didn't fit the mood. I had defined a mood at this point and I'm starting to realize that a lot of the songs that I picked or a lot of the tracks that I picked don't quite fit. For example, I produced a song Bank Account and although it's like really, really dope and I feel really confident about the lyrics and the beat itself, like I didn't feel like it fit on this album. So like I said, in the middle of this process, I started to find the theme to this album. And that's what I'm gonna talk about for you in this scenario. It's like, how do you find that cohesiveness? How do you find that mood and theme? And then how do you structure your album around that? What I discovered is my album Overtime should be for people that were always putting in overtime and, and sacrificing for themselves or their families. So because I learned it, I'm gonna give you four steps to creating cohesiveness in your album. The first step is something that I've already said, define a mood, define a theme. Is it sad? Is it happy? Um, are you going to be talking about breakups? Are you gonna be talking about um, working overtime? Are you gonna be talking about um, anything like, being a hustler, are you gonna talk about, like there's so much that you could impart into your album and make sure that you're on a consistent theme. So whatever you're feeling uh, that you should write about is what your mood or theme should be for this record. Step number two is listen to all the songs or listen to all the tracks and then delete the ones that don't fit the mood. And that's followed by step number three, which is basically add new songs if you need to. Sometimes when you do cuts, maybe half the album will cut down. So if you feel like you need to add more tracks after you cut some, go ahead and do that. That will help the theme, that will help the mood, that will help the cohesiveness of the album. The last step is you want to sequence all these tracks. You want to put them in an order that's exactly right for the mood that you're trying to go for. Listening to an album is a journey and not a lot of people take the time to even listen to albums anymore. And so in order to get people enticed or um, uh, excited about listening to your work, you want to take them on a journey and you don't want to disconnect them from 
the album at any point. So sequencing is super important to every album that you put out, especially when it comes to cohesiveness. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I appreciate you watching this video. And until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace. All right, so the video is over now. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you feel about it. And then watch more videos about the same subject up here. And then another video that YouTube recommends down here. Peace.